Diablo 4 Season 1 is upon us, and boy do I have some thoughts about it. So let's get right into it here. I think the best way to describe my thoughts here are I'm actually having a lot of fun playing it. I'm currently a level 28 rogue, so I'm really, really early into it. But man, do I have a lot of frustrations and issues with what they've decided to do. And I will just start this off by saying I actually am a fan of the whole collecting of caged hearts and just the new monster spawns and such that are happening just organically as you're going around the map and playing the game while leveling. But the problem is that's about where it stops for me because I don't think there's enough new here. And most importantly, there's a lot of things that are really convoluted and really, really screwing up the fun this game is supposed to be. And I'm actually going to mirror kind of what I'm saying here with the campfire that the Diablo 4 developers just had recently after a pretty catastrophic response <laughs> to what people thought of the most recent patch of this game and all the nerfs that were hit with all the different classes. And when I listened to that campfire event, what they were trying to do with all the nerfs was to bring up all of the other builds to make it seem like every class had a lot of diverse options. The problem with that is now it is just a harder and slower experience overall leveling because nothing really got stronger per se. Our character level went down while the enemy level went up. And that's not how you need to address something like that in this style of game. But honestly, I think my two biggest complaints, my one complaint that I even had from the initial launch of the game is still holding true here it's actually even gotten worse because we now have these caged hearts that are just taking up all the inventory space and that is yes 100 percent the inventory problem my gosh do we have so much stuff that is taking up space everywhere i can't believe this is something that was looked past by the developers you already knew this was an issue and yet now the literal one main thing that's happening in this season is taking up more space than that why doesn't it have its own private tab i just really 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 don't understand that one and then the other thing is i really think the renown problem is continuing to be an issue for me the fact that we're gonna have to grind the three four and five sections of our renown tabs in each section again is just something that sounds a bit exhausting and I've already felt it as I'm leveling up my character. I clearly just missed this bit of information, but I thought that we were at least going to be guaranteed the 10 character skill points right off the bat. And the fact that I didn't even have that was really frustrating. And honestly, I'm all for exploring the map, but I really, really don't understand why we just can't have access to all the teleporters again. The fact that we have to go back and retrack through all the different parts of the map to unlock the non-main city teleporters again just felt a little bit troublesome and clunky. And I think that's the word I would use for the start of this season. It just feels a bit off. I was actually talking to my brother, uh, the one who's not on this YouTube channel, and just asking him like where he's at for the season. And he hasn't even wanted to get started yet because he's struggling just playing by himself. Something that, at least in Diablo 3, was never that big of a concern. And it does feel like with where Diablo 4 is right now, there's just not enough stuff or milestones to keep people interested throughout this grind. Because again, the beginning of the season now is getting yourself from 0 to 50, which is what we did when the game launched, but we had the campaign to keep us entertained. Then that grind from 50 to 100 right now, there's just not a lot of in-game stuff to keep you invested in challenges to shoot for. And so they really, really need to work on this. And to their credit, they've talked about the fact they know that this is a problem, but it might be a while till it's implemented in the game. And you could end up seeing a drastic amount of people leaving this game for a while because of that. But so really quickly here, I did just want to address some of the things they did bring up in the campfire because again, it is all stuff they're saying it's not implemented yet. But from what I could tell, there was a lot of really positive things that came out of this. So as long as they hold true and at least do 75% of what they talked about in that little event there, I think that's going to be really, really good for Diablo 4. So let's go over a couple of things that they said they're going to work on. Literally right off the bat the first thing they said is they're never going to implement a patch like this previous one where they just hardcore nerfed all of the best builds in the game so going forward in order to kind of help builds out buff the ones that aren't working don't take away from the ones that are outside of I know there was like a druid build that literally was hitting for like trillions of damage. Yeah, that probably needed to be fixed. I talked about having milestones earlier and they actually even brought this up during the campfire event. From levels 50 to 100, they realized there is not enough points that make it feel like you've achieved something and you're kind of following this like step ladder program of sorts. And that right now is just kind of, ugh, there's not a lot there. And so they're gonna be adding more of this stuff on the in-game side 
What that looks like, we don't know, but at least they've acknowledged it. I really like there was a user-based question where they asked about the legendary aspects in the game and how they're taking up inventory space by themselves. And their suggestion for the developers was, what if going forward, when you have a better legendary aspect that drops with better roles, you could apply that and then basically have it upgrade your legendary aspects so that that is the minimum role now that you always get. So it only takes up one spot. Developers even talked about they liked that idea and that's something they were looking at potentially implementing. And again, they acknowledged on the whole, they knew that the inventory system was a problem. There was just a lot of stuff taking up space, which again is why the whole concept behind season one was confusing. If you were play testing it, how did this not get brought up? It makes me wonder a little bit if the game, they're being pushed and rushed to get some of this stuff out. But one of the things that they said they're going to potentially look at adding is loot filters, which I honestly cannot believe are not already in the game. But thank you. Please make that happen. Another piece of information that I latched onto and was kind of shocked it just wasn't a thing. When I first started playing, I kept expecting every time I saw a goblin that there would be other types of goblins in this game. And there just wasn't. They talked about that they needed to increase how much stuff was dropped from goblins and that they also really liked in Diablo 3 how there were different types of goblins. Yeah, I can't believe that wasn't added from the beginning, but please implement it, add it. As a quick aside, I'm actually not sure when they're going to implement all of these changes. I'm sure they're going to be staggered throughout. I know they did mention that there was going to be a couple more patches before season two starts, and that would be in October, end of October, I believe, or beginning of November. I believe this current season ends October 17th. That's all I know. But for instance, and the reason I bring that up is leaderboards. They're still saying are coming, but they will not be until season three. That's something they brought up during this campfire event that is still two seasons away. It could be a while till some of this stuff does actually get implemented, which is a little frustrating. Another positive that I did see is they're going to add areas within Helltides and Nightmare Dungeons that have significantly more mob density, which I think is greatly appreciated for two different reasons. One, well, it helps with XP farming because the leveling process is tedious in this game. But secondly, and the way they brought this up, and more importantly, when you do finally start feeling really strong, the thing this game doesn't have that Diablo 3 had was mob density. So you could literally just blow apart entire maps at a time of enemies, and you just felt so freaking powerful. And that's lacking in this game. I did play a Bone Spear Necromancer to begin the game. I made it to level 75 before season one started. And yeah, that character felt incredibly powerful, but on single target a lot of the time, or if you could line things up. There was never a million different mobs on the screen all at once. So I never quite got to that like crazy high rush of killing and destroying monsters that I did in Diablo 3. So I hope they can find a way to get closer to that with this little implementation. Again, who knows when they add it. And then just another really small thing, but would be greatly appreciated as well, is they talked about bringing in loadouts so that you could have multiple loadouts saved so you didn't have to constantly swap items in and out all the time. This is in Diablo 3. If you're going to play a game that has multiple different builds and you've stated yourself as the developers, you want lots of different build options and variety in the game, why wouldn't you offer loadouts to begin with? I mean, there's just a lot of really head scratching decisions that went into this. But yeah, so I guess I didn't want this to necessarily be a negative video. I definitely have my concerns with where Diablo 4 currently is in its state during season one. I'm still having fun, but I'm not everybody. And I also didn't grind all the way up to level 100 like a lot of people did to start the game. So I could understand some of these implementations and the way that season one is going is even more of a grind than them than it is for me. For now, I am having fun. I will continue to keep playing. I would love to see if I can get my character to level 100 for this season might be a little bit difficult just because of time but i'm gonna try so if you're interested in seeing some rogue based videos let me know i definitely plan on making a couple more and getting more out there at least until starfield comes out which there'll be plenty of videos on that one too but yeah if you guys have any questions are there things that you're not liking what's frustrating you do you like some of the changes that are being talked about here let me know in the comments down below and i will react to them appropriately as soon as i can hope you all are having a wonderful time with this game and we'll see you soon